Hey everyone, I am Dario Cosa, fashion photographer who based in Miami and today we are going to do a new unboxing. I do have this huge box again. So excited what I have here. It's supposed to be my new Bron Color Series 800L kit. Wow, it's super huge box. Wow, it's like Christmas present, beautiful box. Very nice. I like that there is handles over there and here on the side you can see what's in the box. It says that in Sears 800L Outdoor Kit 2. It's very nice showing. And the box is super beautiful and nice. beautiful backpack. I haven't seen light yet, but I am already super happy with this unboxing. Do you remember from the last video when I was buying a demo version and it wasn't look the same? I would say from my experience, I really like this kind of backpack. I'm using MoveKit 1200 and I was trying already with this kind of backpack and it was very easy and convenient when I have my camera backpack on me and with this handle and with the wheels you could just carry this backpack and my camera backpack at the same time. What I also really like about this backpack, it's actual really backpack. You're doing like travel photography landscape and there is no possibility to use wheels. You could just actually use it like a backpack. And even for me, this weight was fine to carry it as a backpack. So let's see what we have inside. So here we have cable, or oh, probably you could use it for your tripod or stand. So let's open and see what's inside. Wow, I really like this beautiful packing, it looks perfect. I really love this beautiful and perfect packing. I'd love to keep it for as long as I can, like same kind of way, like perfectionist. I think it will be very nice. Um, so we have already did unboxing of Sears 100 L and tested it on location. You can see on this video. And so let's do this unboxing really quick and move to the part of assemble it and I'm going to show you the menu and how you could use it. Okay, so here we have the strap. In those boxes we have beautiful packing of lithium battery with the instruction of it. I would also suggest you to buy extra battery just in case when you're shooting on the location and cannot charge the light but personally i was testing this lighting for the photo shoot for eight hours and those two lights was enough for me to shoot for eight hours but if you're shooting on the full power when it's harsh lighting and you're trying to handle the sunlight behind the model and if you're shooting on the full power you could do 220 flashes Let's see what we have here. Oh, here we have beautiful packet of charger. 
uh, this the cord and what is this it's look like I checked the manual and figure out that this cable would help you to update the firmware of this light just in case and also keep in mind that we have with this backpack only one charger so you should charge each battery by one and it's take up to 70 minutes to charge the battery for the full power here we have silver umbrella 85 centimeters So it is a small umbrella, but have you have already seen on the video where we were shooting with this umbrella? It's pretty enough for shooting outside. Here we have a softbox 60 by 60, and here is a speed drink for assemble softbox. We could do it later. I like this kind of tag. It looks nice. You could put it on your backpack. Light for life. So we're moving to the most interesting part. Yeah, that's our beautiful lights. It's a little bit heavy. Personally, for me, it will be hard to handle it in my hands. So I would definitely always put it on stand. So with the Sirius 800L Outdoor Kit 2, we have two monolights with their rechargeable battery. And I think it's really cool and enough for shooting outdoor. So it's really good outdoor kit to start with. I would say that actually even lithium battery, it's kind of heavy and the light by itself, it's also heavy. So I think both of them together, it will be kind of heavy as well, but if we're putting it on the stand, it will be fine. What I would say, what I really like about this lighting, that there is no any cords here and it will be easy to move. And even if you'd like to hold it in the hands, I mean, your assistant could hold it in the hands and like some kind of moving shots, it's possible to do and no other cords which will be on your way. That's a good point. I, you know that we have two modifiers in this outdoor kit, but also we have two more modifiers which are already coming, coming on the light. You could easily take it off if you'd like to. For example, if you're switching for softbox or if you have any other different modifier or if you'd like to buy something else. Even using those two simple modifiers, you could use it for harsh lighting or using it like bouncing from the wall or ceiling or any other options. So actually in this outdoor kit, you have not just two modifiers, but already four. So let's put it on the stand and go deeper to the menu of this lighting. So first of all, we're opening this side. So with this lighting, I would definitely suggest you to buy RFC 2.2 transmitter. I have one for Canon. And only with this transmitter from Broncolor, you could use it in full power at this lighting, especially in high speed mode. So let's turn it on and go to see the menu of this lighting. I'm pressing the button down here to turn it on. And we have here nine stop flash range. Um, also, it's very nice feature here. For example, right now I have my power for five. If I wanted to increase like 5.1, 5.2, but if I'm pushing a little bit harder, it will go one step up. And the maximum power is 10 here. So what I really like about this lighting, it's kind of simple. So for example, mod 
saying about modeling lighting. We can see it right now here. But also when you go into the menu, like pushing this button, there is also showing the speed, Wi-Fi, uh, high speed mode, studio. It's sh uh, showing what kind of channel there is here. I have on my transmitter or also first channel, for example, if we're using different lighting or if I am changing here for a second channel, that's where we're we going to switch also our channel. Uh, let's try sequence mode when we will have like, for example, 10 flashes on the power 3.8. That was impressive. Also here in the menu we have beep. If you want right now it's staying on, you could turn it off. If you don't like the sound synchronization, it's staying for RF transmitter. We also could see the lamp here. And also, are you ready for the magic life hacks from Daria? So I turn my transmitter off and putting it on the side. I don't have anything with me. I just have my phone. I just turned photo or video and the magic. <laughs> what I also really like here, as we discussed in Bron Control app, you could set different lamps if you have on set two or more and for example right now we have lamp one and it's showing here blue color but if we switch for different two and it's showing green color and you could treat for example like purple uh, for example it's showing that we have synchronization on beep on for example if I set high speed mode on it's right now showing that we have high speed mode on and if i turn the lights on and i see i don't remember what i have what kind of settings i have in my menu i could see just simply here what setting right now i have already brown control up on my phone let's see how i could operate this lighting from my phone so probably should set um Wi-Fi on here. Okay, right now it's showing Wi-Fi, synchronization, beep, okay. So we're moving forward. Oh, it's showing right now on Networks, Bronze Studio One. Let's use this one. Oh, yeah. Right now it's showing in my app. We have Bronze Studio One. That's my lighting. Yet yeah, found it's saying that we have power 4.7. That's true, we have 4.7. I could turn model and lighting from the app. That's nice. Standby. Uh, standby is a really cool feature. Like, for example, I'm having the break and I just decided to turn lighting off and I have ever and I'd like to have ever since saved. I could just use standby. And then it's coming back to the settings. I could also do tests from here, probably. Yeah. Changing the power. Set another lighting also on. Let's see if it will find another lighting. Yeah. We have already shown two lamps. We have our new lamp which we just turned on it's on the power 2 and showing here this purple color which i set for this and our first one 4.7 also like showing the blue color and it's also showing that on this light and flash duration we have 2270 of a second and for this light we have flash duration 4300 tenths of a second and the fastest flash duration is 74 hundredths of a second. So on this menu, we could choose each lamp and changing the power. For example, right now I'm changing the power of this one. We could go and change power here again. We could also do a test of each of them. Yeah. I would definitely say that using this app, it's very convenient, especially when you're on set, a shooting outdoor and those lights without course, it could be far away from you. And you could just simply adjust 
flash power or certain model and lighting just using this app. I do really admire those uh, Sirius 800L outdoor kit, but I also at the same time using Move Kit 1200. So leave the comment below if you'd like me to compare Sirius 800L and Move 1200's kit. Those both two lights designed for shooting outdoor, but they are different. So I think it will be really interesting to compare them and decide what actually is better to buy as your first outdoor lighting. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. So give me a like, subscribe and see you next time.